Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, oh, good morning. <laughs> wow. Good morning. This is Professor Solange Martinez and Luisa Oyarzun. We are calling to um, find out the status of a lawsuit that uh, we filed. Do you have the case number? No, they didn't give her a case number, um, and they just gave her a letter with this number and said to call if she needed to. What kind of letter did she get? Um, it's a letter that has your um, the prostate intake unit at the top and with the, the Southern District uh, office address at 500 Pearl Street. And it said that if she needs to change her address or um, get the status of the uh, case, to contact you through this number, 805 one Does she have a, doc a docket number? No. When did she, did, so she open the case here? Uh, February 16th, 2016. So she should have a case number? Yes, uh, she should, but she doesn't. They didn't give her one. Oyarsun, O Y A R Z as in zebra, U N as in Nancy. And the first name? Luisa, L U I S A. Okay. 16. 16. CV. CC as in cat. C as in cat. B as in Victor. 1297. Mm. So 1C, one I'm sorry, 16. C as in cat. B as in Victor. 1297. Yes, that's her case number. Okay. And it says the case is still under review. Okay. Um, I have a question. Um, perhaps you can help me. She is dying of uh, cancer. She has lung cancer um, that came back. Uh, her cancer came back a third time in, okay. this, in this form. Uh, she is. Um, her prognosis is guarded, um, and um, she wants to know um, what she can do in case that she passes away because um, the person that she's suing, Kevin McGuire, um, is responsible for this because he t uh, stole her uh, government benefits and her name and sold it to illegals in the country and consequently she couldn't get her cancer treatment for the last five years. So in case that she passes away, uh, uh, what happens? I don't know what what happened. Um, what you need, what you can do, um, she can write a letter to the court, mm -hmm. send it to the pro se office, mm -hmm. and we'll see. Because um, it's still under review right now, so um, and see what the chief judge says. Okay. But get and the letter in as soon as possible. Okay. And explain her situation. You know, with the um, you know, the cancer coming back and what would happen in the event that she passes away while the case is ongoing, what what steps would you take? Okay. Okay, okay. and my second question is, she had to flee Westchester County because uh, Kevin McGuire sent uh, people after her to kill her and myself, so she moved eight hours away from there. Does she have to change the address with you or just yeah. send the letter? Yeah, she needs to send a letter stating that she changed the address. Okay, um, but you don't change it over the phone, right? No, I can't do it over the phone. You have to put it in writing because they have to make a notation on the case that her address has changed. Okay, and the, my third and last question. Um, the county that she moved to, um, Kevin McGuire has contacted the commissioner here, uh, the one that is equivalent to him in Westchester County, the commissioner of the Department of Social Services, and they are doing the same thing. They're denying her her Medicaid uh, because they know she's going to die if she doesn't get treatment. Is there anything that um, she can do uh, or to amend the, the complaint and add the commissioner here in Livingston County? Yes, and just send the amended complainer because they 
um, the case is still under review, so she has time to, to amend it. Okay, so she would write a letter saying, please change my address because I moved to this address? Yes, just put right change of address and put the new address and then send in the amended complaint as well. Okay, so it would be the lawsuit uh, with the addition of the uh, commissioner uh, of Livingston County for DSS. Right. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye.